Hi guys, so welcome to the lip products drawer in my 2016 makeup collection and storage series. Today, obviously, we're tackling this mostly organized but still somewhat of a mess type of drawer. Um, part in this bag over here, this is actually some products that I am purging from my collection um, that I got rid of once I was actually going through and organizing everything. <laughs> so um, you'll see that stuff in a video here soon. But I wanted to go ahead and start with the products that I have in my everyday makeup drawer right now. So I keep them in this container here. Um, so in here are Bite Beauty lipsticks. There's four of those. I have Cora's lip butters. I have some Essence lipsticks, some Laura Mercier gloss, Revlon, um, Laura Geller, Essence. So this is what I have for my current lip products that I'm using. So um, when these are not being used, they could put back in here. And as you can see, there's some extra slots here. So I actually have a little bit of room for growth, which is crazy. And I'm going to try to not purchase a bunch of lip products because honestly, I have gotten rid of so many lip products over the last few years. I feel like I've really refined my collection a lot. I could probably refine it just a little bit more, but I do have some odd attachments to some of these lipsticks. Don't ask. But let's talk about how I organize this drawer. Sorry, I'm on my knees right now. So um, this, these are super clever. These are ac acrylic trays. You can see this one here is one. Here's another one here. And then this is actually a tiered acrylic tray. So you can see that it's taller in the back than it is in the front. So I purchased all of these at my local TJ Maxx and Marshalls. If you are looking for lipstick containers, I would check there before ordering online because these were only, I wanna say $6. This big one here was only, I think it was $9.99. And that's so much cheaper than a lot of the other acrylic containers that I've seen online. So keep that in mind um, before you go ordering from some of these companies that you know do custom acrylics. It can get really expensive. So I just purchased, like I said, three separate containers. They fit really nicely in here. I actually like this tiered one a lot, but I couldn't find another one like it. Um, it can be hit and miss, so you just have to keep your eye out at the discount stores, but they are there quite frequently. And they work beautifully with a huge array of lipsticks. So let's kind of talk about what I have. I have these, um, these are some of the ones that I should be getting rid of. These are the Heidi Klum um, for Victoria's Secret lipsticks. Yeah, those are old. Um, there are some, let's see, what, what is this? These are Buxom. The new Buxom lipsticks. There's a Lorac lipstick here. Um, Bare Minerals lipsticks. I really like those a lot. A Sephora brand. A few of the um, Too Faced. What are these called again? Uh, they are. Oh my gosh, what are these called? These guys. <laughs> I don't remember the name of them. This is really embarrassing. Anyway, I have three of those. Um, one of them is Nude Beach, which is a lovely color. This I love more than anything. It's the Too Faced Lip Injection Color Bomb. Too Faced discontinued this, so that sucks. <laughs> that always happens to stuff that I love. Um, these are all NARS Audacious lipsticks here. I love the NARS Audacious lipsticks, and they are worth every penny. I have a couple of MAC lipsticks left here. These are two Laura Mercier lipsticks. Um, this is a Laura Mercier gloss and Bear Baby that I just bought. I love that. There's a Cora's lipstick. There's um, a butter, not butter, a Bite Beauty lipstick in the color Sake. That's more of a fall shade. That's why I don't have that one currently pulled. This is a lot of drugstore stuff over here. These are three Buxom um, full on lip pencil lipsticks that makes sense. Um, I really like these, so I have three of those there. I also have the NARS birthday gift from last year down here from Sephora. But lots of drugstore. Well, not that much drugstore left, honestly. I've gotten rid of a ton. There's some Revlon here. There's um, some P2 lipsticks that I got from Germany. Um, these are all Revlon here. There's a Rimmel. 
uh, obviously some L'Oreal, a good amount of Maybelline, quite a few Essence lipsticks, um, some NYX ones back here. So there's, there's a little bit of a range here in terms of brands from the drugstore. Lipstick is not something that I in the past ever really spent a lot of money on, so I had a lot of drugstore, drugstore lipsticks, but in recent years I have sort of gravitated to more high-end lipsticks, so, but I do still think if you're going to buy anything from the drugstore, buy a lipstick from the drugstore. In terms of how I store glosses and pencils, this is not ideal back here, and I'm just going to scoot down a little further so you can see back here. Again, Bath and Body Works empty three wick containers, and I just put the glosses in here. Luckily, I know mostly what these containers look like per brand, so it's very easy for me to rotate this and grab out the ones that I want. So there's lots of Milani, there's Revlon, there's um, Marcel and Quo from Canada that my friend Stephanie sent me. Um, the NYX Butter Glosses, I love those. These are more high-end glosses here. So you've got Lorac. Um, uh, this is Laura Geller. There's Buxom. There's lots of Buxom. There's Bare Minerals Glosses. All kinds back here. NARS. The Marvelous Moxie. All of that. Um, these are just some lip pencil type products. So there's some from Revlon. Annabelle, again, I get those sent by my friend Stephanie from Canada. And then liners, just honestly random, random liners. Um, but again, these are not ideal to have in here. I'm still looking for some acrylic to um, put in here to replace this glass. Haven't found it yet, but I'm keeping my eye out. But that's really how I organize in here, and that's kind of an overview of the brands that I have for lip products. Um, I really do like lip products, obviously. I tend to gravitate a lot more towards neutrals than anything else, so you're not seeing a whole lot of crazy colors in here. I obviously have some red lipsticks. I'm very picky about my reds, um, so there's not a lot, but most of what you're seeing here are nudes, pinky nudes, peaches, peachy nudes stuff like that. <laughs> um, you know, like very natural coral type shades for the summertime maybe, but just a lot of like the same color over and over again. <laughs> so anyway, that is my lipstick drawer here and uh, there you have it. So let me know if you guys have any questions at all. By the way, here are some of the extra Bath and Body Works containers I was finally able to get rid of once I revamped this thing. So that took out a lot of weight, honestly, in quite a few of these drawers. So, all right, guys, let me know if you have any questions about the lip products or anything else, and I will see you guys in my next video. Take care. Bye-bye.